When the wind blew, the bear was happy. What causes the bear to be happy? The wind. The wind blowing. How do you know? Because it says, when the wind blew, the bear was happy. So that wind word is kind of important, isn't it? Yes. When the wind blew, the bear was happy. Okay, so that's a cause and effect relationship. Thank you very much. So what else? Anything else you notice? Punctuation, anything. Yes, sir. There's a comma. Could you point to the comma for me? There you go. Now, what's that comma doing? When I see a comma, I ask myself a question. I say, what is that comma doing when I read it out loud? What is that comma doing when I read it with just my eyes? So I want you at your tables to read and reread the sentence. Read it out loud. Read it with your eyes. And then talk about what does that comma do when you read it out loud and you read it with your eyes. Go, talk at your tables. And you can look at the chart. To, to right now, we'll take questions in a minute. <laughs> Wait, wait. So, when the wind blew, so the bear got happy because I think it was like hot. No, I think I think this is just the I think it was happy because the bear was hot. I think that's like really hot. Abdullah said something really interesting. He said, Well, do you want to just tell us what you said, Abdullah? Or you want me to? That's okay. Well, what he said was that sometimes when sentences are long, you need a break. So one of the things he noticed when he read it out loud is he noticed that he, he, he gave it a little bit of a break. She noticed that he slowed down and stopped for a while. Not for a long time, but for a little while. When the wind blew... Oh, he stopped just to, like, feel it? To, oh, so the comma gives us a chance to say all this stuff on this side of the comma goes over here. When the wind blew, stop. Um, so the wind could probably like blow his fur. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Could we put a period there? No. Oh. Oh. Why not? Why couldn't we put a period there? Why can not we put a period there? Put a period there? Yes, ma'am. Um, it wouldn't make sense, and it's not a sentence. It's not a sentence, and it wouldn't make sense. When, well, what if I read it this way? When the wind blew, the bear was happy. No. How can you, so, so how do you know when the wind blew is not a sentence? It's a hard question, I know. So, so what, do you want us to come back to you in a minute? Yeah. So let's keep thinking. Why, why is when the blue, wind blew? I agree with you. It's not a sentence. When the wind blew is not a sentence by itself. But why isn't it? How do you know it's not a sentence? Yes. Yes. Okay, because if it was by itself, it wouldn't really make any sense. I mean, if it was by itself, it wouldn't be there. If it was just by itself when the wind blew, it, it, it'd leave you hanging. It would just, like, leave you... You wouldn't even feel the wind. You'd be like pause and nothing. You wouldn't have anything happen. So cause and effect. So so it's not it's it's you got when the wind blew, comma. The bear was happy. So the period would say, stop. This sentence is over. And it would say it was a complete sentence, but it's not. The comma says this is an opener. It tells us. It's not a complete sentence, but it's connected to a complete sentence so, with a comma. What else does that comma do? So the comma gives us a little bit of a break in a longer sentence. What else does it do? If you put a period, um, like you're 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 gonna like you you already ended the story. If you put a period, you've already ended the story of that sentence, and it's not over yet. When the wind blew. The bear was happy. Yes, ma'am. If you put a period there, that, then that sentence doesn't have a noun. It's just a cause and it has no effect. Well, it doesn't look like it has a noun. 
because, the, but, but what if I, let's play this. I see what you're saying and, and you're not wrong, but look at this, what if I took off the when? Oops. When the, the wind blew. Oh, I've got to work on my handwriting. What if I took, because all I did is take off the wind here. The wind blew. Would that be a sentence? No. Because the. Uh, yes. It is a sentence, isn't it? Because who or what did or is something? Who or what did or is something? The wind. The wind is the noun, right? The wind did something, and what did the wind do? Blue. It blew, that's the verb. But, here's what you're noticing. What's your first name? Aluchi. 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 Here's what Aluchi's noticing. That when you put the when in front of it, you cause a comma. Because the wind blew, a sentence. When the wind blew, leaves you hanging. It's like the when is a comma causer. So what you notice... When the wind blew, it's like it's pushing you to run. It's like it's pushing you forward, yeah, because it, it, the comma does that, it pushes you forward into the full sentence right here. Yeah. So, guys, what basically happens when a sentence, oh, no, wait, teachers make mistakes, writers make mistakes all the time. When the first word of a sentence it, and what's the first word of this sentence? When. 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 When the first word of a sentence is when, what do I need now? A comma, right? Because I started a sentence with when. When the first word of a sentence is when, I'm probably going to need a comma. Say this with me. We'll say it together. I'll stand back so you can see it. When the first word of a sentence is when, I'm probably going to need a comma. One more time. When the first word of a sentence is when, I'm probably going to need a comma. Who can make up a sentence right now with when as the first word? I can come back. When I threw the football, again, when I threw the football, is when I threw the football a sentence? No. Not, no, because it has, I threw the football would be a sentence, but since when's in front of it, it's when I threw the football, and then what do I need now? Comma. comma. When I threw the football, comma, one of my teammates caught it. And I like the way your verb agrees, because it's in the past through, so my teammate caught it, so our verbs have to match. We know that. Good. Let's say this again. When the first word of a sentence is when, I'm probably going to need a comma. Did you notice how the first word of this sentence is when? Did you notice how I used a comma? Yeah, there we go. So, what else do you notice in this sentence? Anything else you notice about the sentence? Yes, sir. That when, um, when, when someone do the football, um, there, there had to be someone else. So they couldn't just be one person. So in this one, he noticed that the cause and the effect were two different people because somebody was throwing the ball and somebody else had to catch it. Nice noticing in that new sentence that we created. Yes? Um, and also you can like You could work it. You could make it work if you kept working with it. Because that's the thing. You get to revise sentences. You get to do them a lot of different ways. The weird thing is, is when it's not the first word, first word, first word, first word, first word, when it's not the first word, first word, first word, first word, first word, you don't usually need the comma. 
when when isn't the first word, you don't usually need the comma. The truth is, let's say it together, when the first word, scream, I need you to scream first word. You're not going to scream any of the other sentences, but you're going to scream first word. Just the two words, first word, and then you're going to stop screaming. When the first word of a sentence is when, I'm probably going to need a comma. I think you just, you just learned something. This is called a complex sentence. So pat yourselves on the back because you're learning a compound sentence.